Hey, my name is Amira and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another try on haul for you guys. So I swapped rooms, hopefully it doesn't sound too crazy. If you saw my last video, it was a Kmart room makeover and I said I wouldn't film in this room, but that's where I am today. That's why I look a bit different, less other stuff going on. But yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, today I'm trying on a bunch of things from Pretty Little Thing, I love Pretty Little Thing. They let me pick out some more things again, which was amazing. Um, oh, I have some things that I didn't think I'd like and I actually love. And there's a couple things that I was unsure about that just maybe didn't quite work for me. But yeah, I still want to show you them because I think they'll work for some of you guys, but just for my body, it didn't work. Um, I'm a little bit sore today. I had sculpture done. I don't, it's like said differently. It's like where they heat up the fat. So they did like the big fat pockets on the side of my legs. So I filmed a little bit of that. Um, it'll take a few weeks to see some results and stuff and I'll do a video on it, but I'm like a bit sore today. <laughs> so yeah, just um, bear with me a little bit, a little bit flat. But yeah, I wanted to try all these things for you guys because I just, yeah, I haven't, I haven't done it. I've got them sitting here. I've worn a couple things. You may have seen them on Instagram already. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, jump into trying some things on. And yes, I'm like awkwardly standing here like this uh, because I haven't put the tripod up high enough and I'm about to adjust it again so I can stand back more. But yeah, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and let's jump in. So here is my first little outfit. I'm gonna step back in a second, but I wanted to show you the shoes. I've been wearing these like quite a bit actually. They are flat form sneakers. Uh, so yeah, they're like black with like a big chunky wedge bit on the bottom. Really comfy, really simple, go well with stuff, but you know, cause they've got that little bit of flat form. I mean, it's so weird to call them flat form because they've got that little bit of height. They're, you know, a little bit, a little bit extra fancy, but yeah, I think these are really cute. You're not gonna see my feet, I don't think in any of like the shots. So let's step back and show you the whole look. So I've got some white fishnets cause I think they look kind of cool with like some ripped jeans. I don't know, probably it would be a bit better with jeans that are more ripped than what mine are. Mine are just like ripped at the knee area, uh, but they kind of look cool and probably like more of a singlety crop top as opposed to a t-shirt crop top. But you know, I'm just gonna show you what I got and yeah, give, show you what I would probably pair it with. I don't know if everything I picked today like goes together that well. Um, but yeah, I think that, yeah, the fishnets are kind of like a cool touch, something a little bit different, um, especially like in festival season, I think, which is what we're in at the moment. Yeah, I think they look kind of cute. And then these jeans, these are the mum jeans. Why, why am I dirty? I think I just went out of the room and like the dogs chomped on me, so I'm a bit dirty. Um, but yeah, these are the mum jeans, and I've never liked how I've never liked non-skinny jeans on me before. And I think that these are still really flattering. Um, they don't go in at the waist, like they're a little bit big here, but I just wear them with a skinny belt, but they're still tight and like firm here. So they're not gonna fall down. Like they definitely don't feel like they're falling down since they still sit up and cover my belly button. Um, I don't feel like I've got any muffin tops or anything. Like they're just nice and comfy. Um, but yeah, they're really cute. They're like just slightly above the ankle. Um, and yeah, they look a bit more baggy. My only kind of issue with these jeans is that like, I didn't realize it until I wore them to the movies the other week. Um, the knee set like rip is you know big and stuff and when you sit down for a while it stretches it bigger so when you stand up it's like really open um so i might put like a little tuck in the side to stop it from doing that or i'll see like what happens when i wash them and dry them but like the actual fit is really 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 nice like i've never liked well i mean i don't know really what the difference between like mum jeans and boyfriend jeans are because they're still like that bit more baggy stuff i think maybe mum jeans are like a bit more high-waisted um, but yeah, like they're so flattering. I have a black pair as well. They're slightly different. I prefer these ones, but the others are still really, really nice. Like they just, I don't know, they don't make my bum look bigger. So maybe if you're curvy and you don't want to accentuate your butt, like a lot of skinny jeans and stuff do, this will kind of still like make it look nice and perky, but it won't, I don't know. I don't think it makes it look like as round as like skinny jeans, but it still looks like bigger, but not 
too crazy or anything. And I'll link everything down below as well because I can't remember the names and sizes of some of the things. Um, the little taggies have gone missing. Then we have this t-shirt. It just says doll. It's like a big t-shirt. I just kind of like pulled it up here for this bit. So if we pull it out, you can see it's just like a big baby t-shirt it's like a baby pink i was hoping it would be like a little bit more fitted because i think i've got the small um and it's still like it's more of like that oversized t-shirt kind of look so i probably will wear this one more so like around the house and stuff um because yeah it's just like a little bit like basic but it's nice because i mean i wore like a crop top today when i went out and we're starting to get really cold. So that was not a pleasant experience for me. My little midriff section, like the one centimeter showing was pretty cold. And yeah, I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but yeah, it was, it was pretty chilly just with that tiny bit of skin showing. So these two, I definitely wouldn't wear together. Um, so this is actually my bralette. Um, I can't not wear a bra with this because it's so low cut, like it is, completely low cut this top. I thought it looked really nice with like the sheer arms and like it's got a full back on it. Um, it's like a thong bodysuit, so it's, it's really high cut so you can wear it with jeans and stuff. But this is just way too low cut for me. Um, I sized up, so like the jeans I've got an eight and this bodysuit, I think I've got a 10. So usually like I would size up in pants and down for like the top. Um, but this is just like so, 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 tiny um yeah like when i don't wear a bra it's like it just everything is out on display um so um i think you definitely have to size up a good one to two sizes for this and it's something i'd recommend more so for someone with like a bit less boob because even if you had like implants and they sat like really high and perky it's just open like it's not just like plunging it's like plunging and open like it's really really open um so that's a bit unfortunate the quality is really really nice though um but yeah it just needs like a good extra inch of fabric like either side here so it's not quite as you know open um, and then these jeans are some more mum jeans they are black they also came in blue um but they were sold out, so that's why I got the black ones. Um, they have like the pockets sit a little bit funny here, like they keep kind of coming out almost and it makes them look like a bit puffy. So I have to keep like tucking them in really, really tight to keep it looking like a flatter there. Um, they're not quite as flattering as the um, blue jeans that I just showed you, but they're still quite nice for non-skinny jeans for me. Um, they have the cute little pink pretty little thing logo here. I feel like they make my bum look perky still. Um, it is still strange to see me wearing jeans that aren't skinny jeans and I think that like the blue ones are, I'm just used to seeing that style in like the more straight leg kind of mum jean style. Whereas since these are black like I'm not used to seeing black jeans that aren't skinny legs so I think that's like why they feel a little bit different to me and they're not quite as high Wasted. So like my belly button's here, so they're like just a little bit less high-waisted, but I think they're also smaller. Yeah, they're smaller. So the other jeans are a 10 and these are an 8. Um, I don't know why I got a different size. I think maybe they look different on the model, or maybe I thought these ones would look better tighter and those ones would look better looser. I have no idea what I was thinking about because I got them like a little while ago now. Um, but yeah, that's this one. Okay, so I just put the other jeans back on for this one. Um, I'm so worried I'm going to fall out. So this is like a um, see-through mesh bodysuit. Again, it's like really high cut. You can see the back is like completely see-through. Um, and then it just has like a panel here where you can see. Now, my problem is you can't wear a bra with it, which is fine. But this panel is like really, really thin. Actually, let me turn this down. This panel is really, really, yeah, thin. Um, and like my boobs keep trying to fall out of the bottom. So as soon as they like do anything, um, my boobs like down here, you can see my nipples like through the see-through bit. Um, if they stay perfectly here, it might be okay. I was thinking like this might work better for someone who has like had a breast lift or implants or something and they just stay there. But then at the same time, I was also thinking like, see when I turn to the side, how it just kind of like 
it doesn't hug like the contours it just kind of goes straight down so if you've got big boobs like from implants it's still going to be like out more and create like this silhouette where it doesn't sit flush to the skin i think this would be best for someone who is yeah like more like flat chested like you know maybe an a cup like a small b cup or something because then it would you know just stay in place don't have to worry about it, like moving around too much and because it does sit out a little bit it would create a little bit more boob i think like i think it would make someone with small boobs look make them look a little bit bigger Possibly, maybe. I'm not sure. I think so. It's it's a strategy that I have. So you could always try it out if yeah, if you have boobs that just stay in the same spot <laughs> and don't move around when you cough or see or laugh or anything, then yeah, it could be worth it for you. Then we have this jacket. So maybe you guys remember from my last pretty little thing haul, I had like the soft pink oversized uh, denim jacket. I love it so much. I wear it all of the time. I'm looking at it right now in my other clothes rack. I loved it so, so much, so I had to get the other color. So this is the black one. It feels like it's a bit bigger of a fit than the other one, but I know it's not. It's just because of the color difference. Um, so yeah, it's just like nice and kind of casual. We're coming into winter, so I do think I can still, I don't know. We'll see, because I haven't been wearing much black, but I love this jacket so much, and sometimes I don't want to wear the pink. But yeah, I really love this jacket, because I love the pink one, I knew I would love this one. It's just, yeah, I'm not used to wearing black, but I think that it just looks maybe like a bit more casual, a little less Barbie. Sometimes I don't want everyone looking at me, because I'm like dressed in all pink with like my blonde hair, and my extensions, and my nails, and my big lashes. You know, I feel like this almost like casuals it down a little bit for me, um, but it just depends on your style really. So yeah, if you like that jacket but you wanted to see a different colour, here you go. Lastly, I got this belt and it's definitely not going to match what I'm wearing now, so I'll put a photo here of what it looks like on. I wore it the other day, I had a bunch of people DM me asking where my belt was from. It's like this really cool double buckle belt. I thought this would look so good with jeans which is what I'm wearing in the picture. My only issue is because of this double belt buckle thing, this little middle section comes out and this doesn't thread through. These are the bits that would have to thread through. So they don't fit through the belt loopholes. So it's not like a practical belt, it's more of just like a fashion belt. So it's something you'd have to wear over the top of like a dress just to kind of like pull the waist in a bit or sit it over the top of jeans like I have. Um, so. I really love how this looks, but like the impractical side just kind of annoys me a little bit. But they did also have belts like this on the website that were just single um, buckle ones, not the double. So if you wanted it to actually be a practical belt, I'd probably suggest getting one of the single ones because then you would have like one skinny end and one fat end. Not, yeah, like this doesn't go through obviously. Like I've, if you can figure out and I'm wrong and it does loop somehow, Please feel free to tell me that I'm an idiot and show me how to do it because yeah, like I thought oh great Oh, no, okay. That's not gonna fit. I can't put it through this end and I was like can I take it off this end? But then like it's just this little bit So that's the bit that sits at the front and these are the bits that yeah need to loop through you know around the back unfortunately because it's so cute, but I know I, I still love it enough to wear it with um, yeah like over the top not as a practical belt but I think I will have to get another one that's just like a single buckle one as I said hey there future Amir here editing and because I love this jumper so much I completely forgot to include it in the haul because it's been in with my normal clothes anyway this jumper is just super cute nice oversized Oh, adorable as you can tell I love it it's so comfy for us coming into winter so two big thumbs up probably one of my faves from the haul anyway guys I know there's not as many outfits in this one because I kind of broke it up by getting like belt shoes you know the tights and stuff a few more on the accessory side um, and yeah it's like kept it a little bit more casual I mean I was trying to get it a bit more dressy by getting like those bodysuits because the bodysuits are yeah like that just really nice kind of quality and everything um, but yeah they just don't quite work for me guys I'm sorry <laughs> if you like this video and want to see more like it don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please feel free to let me know down below what your favorite outfit was from the haul I think I love the shoes I love the belt, I love the jacket, I love 
these jeans, the Blue Mum jeans, um, yeah, I really, really like everything except, um, yeah, like the body suits. And the body suits are like good quality, it's just they're not right for my body. And here's me like trying to adjust the body suit because I feel like my nips are pointing, gonna start falling out. Um, I don't want to get flagged on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I think that those are my favorites. The body suits were yeah, the only things that didn't really work for me. But if you aren't as curvy as me, you might have better luck with them. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favorites were. And I think that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.